Hey cat lovers and welcome back to another video. I don't know about you, but I have always found the subject of genetics to be fascinating. While you have probably heard a thing or two about human DNA, you may not know much about cat genetics. That's right, we're going to share fun facts about cat DNA. But first, let's start with the basics. DNA is a chemical name for the molecule that carries genetic instructions in all living things. It is a remarkably simple structure consisting of two strands that wind around one another to form a shape known as a double helix. Each DNA strand contains genes, which carry information needed to specify traits. A cat's DNA contains more than 20,000 genes. Thanks to state-of-the-art technology, scientists have been able to learn a lot of interesting things about our feline friends. Before we get into the list, we want to thank this video's sponsor, Basepaws. You've probably heard of DNA tests for people, perhaps you've even done one yourself. But did you know that it's also possible to have your cat's DNA tested? Yes, it's really a thing. What a time to be alive, right? Basepaws offers an at-home cat DNA test. At the end of this video, we'll tell you all about their service and how to enter a giveaway to win a free cat DNA test. Now let's dive into 10 fun facts about cat genetics. Number one, cats and humans are genetically similar. Cats and humans are more alike than you think. Believe it or not, cats have 90.2% of their DNA in common with humans. Genetically speaking, cats are closer to humans than dogs, who have around 84% of their DNA in common with us. With this in mind, it should also be no surprise that studying these similarities can potentially help researchers treat or even cure diseases. This is because cats can suffer from many of the same diseases as humans, one of which is polycystic kidney disease. Discovering the right treatment for a disease in cats can give scientists clues to treat the same disease in humans. Talk about a win-win. Number two. Cats have 38 chromosomes, most of the time. Obviously, cats and humans are not similar in every way. While cats have 19 pairs of chromosomes, humans have 23. But what's interesting is that some cats, like the ocelot, have 36 chromosomes instead of 38. So what happens when a 36er mates with a 38er? The offspring ends up with 37 chromosomes. However, if a cat with 37 chromosomes is male, he will likely be sterile. Number three. All domestic cats share the same ancestor. It's no secret that domesticated cats descended from wild cats, but what's really interesting is that all living domestic cats are believed to share the same ancestor, the African wild cat. Scientists were able to make this conclusion by analyzing ancient feline DNA. Some of this genetic material came from mummified cats in Egypt, and it just so happens that the African wild cat was the most common species among these feline remains. With this evidence, scientists were able to theorize that the African wildcat was first domesticated 9,000 to 10,000 years ago in the Middle East. It appears that farmers used wildcats to keep rodents away from their stockpiled grain. Number 4. Cat breeds are fairly new. Although this may sound hard to believe, cat breeds commonly seen today are fairly new. While all cats share a common ancestor, selective feline breeding didn't begin until the 19th century, which is fairly recent on an evolution timeline. For comparison, selective canine breeding is a millennia-old practice. This means that our concept of a purebred or pedigreed cat is a very modern one. Due to this relatively new breeding process, the vast majority of modern cats are not the result of intentional breeding, nor do they have ancestors of a defined breed. In fact, 93% of all cats in the world are actually mixed breed. But with genetic data and the help of scientists and our community of pet parents, we are learning more about what makes each mixed breed unique. Number five, cats were bred for their looks. Unlike dogs, cats were bred for their looks instead of their skills. The focus of feline selective breeding was primarily on reproducing or creating new aesthetic traits such as fur length, color, or pattern. In contrast, canine selective breeding spanned a variety of body structure, functionality, behavioral, and aesthetic traits. For example, the dachshund was bred to hunt badgers, so they were bred to have long, skinny bodies to go down badger holes. On the other hand, there was little to no reason to breed cats based on specific skills because cats aren't easily trained. Plus, all cats are good at the same thing, hunting mice. This led breeders to focus on breeding felines for looks instead. Number six. Heterochromia is most common in white cats. Heterochromia is when a pair of eyes are two different colors. This odd-eyed condition is most common in white cats because the gene that gives their eyes unique coloring also causes their fur to be white. 
It can also be seen in cats with at least some white fur, such as the tuxedo cat. On the flip side, this means that heterochromia is extremely rare in black cats or those with darker fur. Thankfully, heterochromia does not cause any vision or health problems. These cats are just lucky enough to have a beautiful and unique feature. Number 7. Chimera cats are their own twins. A chimera cat has two different sets of DNA caused when two embryos fuse together. In other words, the cat has its own set of DNA plus DNA from a second embryo. The result? A cat that looks like two different faces fused together. For this reason, the chimera is often called its own twin, or more specifically, its own fraternal twin. For those of you who are unfamiliar with twin types, fraternal twins results from fertilization of two separate eggs during the same pregnancy. Unlike identical twins, fraternal twins are no more similar than two siblings born from different pregnancies. So, how do scientists find out if a cat is a chimera? They can take a skin sample from each side of the cat. If the DNA is different on each side, the cat is a chimera. Aside from being a genetic rarity, these cats are also quite beautiful. Number 8. Most orange tabbies are male. If you ever had to bet on an orange tabby being male or female, we suggest you put your money on male. With about 80% of orange tabby cats being male, the odds would be in your favor. Now you may be wondering, why are so many of them male? Well, surprise surprise, the answer can be found when looking at an orange tabby's genetics. The gene that produces orange fur is on the X chromosome. As a throwback to biology class, females have two X chromosomes, and males have an X chromosome and a Y chromosome. Since females have two X chromosomes, female orange tabbies need two copies of the gene to end up with orange fur, while males only need one. Number 9. Most calicos and tortoiseshells are female. On the other hand, if you have to bet on a calico or tortoiseshell cat being male or female, put your money on female. The odds would especially be in your favor, because only about 1 in 3,000 are male. Putting it in a percentage, that's only 0.033%. Seriously, those are odds worth betting over. Since two X chromosomes are needed to make a calico or tortoiseshell coat, the majority of cats with these coat patterns are female. But, as indicated by this strikingly low percentage, there is an exception to this rule. A male tortoiseshell or calico is possible if he is born with an extra X chromosome. But needless to say, with odds that are only about 1 in 3,000, this occurrence is pretty rare. Number 10. Inherited diseases are more common in purebreds. Okay, as a disclaimer, this last fact isn't fun, but it's important to know. Diseases are typically acquired or inherited. Like the name sounds, acquired diseases are acquired during one's lifetime, such as HIV. On the other hand, hereditary diseases like polycystic kidney disease are inherited from certain genes. It turns out that inherited diseases tend to be more common in purebred cats. Why is that? Well, in order for a purebred to prove its pedigree, it must meet certain characteristics. Selective breeding and inbreeding for specific traits leads to a much higher risk of genetic disorders. This is not to say in any way that a purebred cat won't be healthy, but they are at a higher risk than mixed breed cats. Thankfully, there are now DNA tests that can determine a cat's risk for certain diseases. That leads us back to this video's sponsor, Base Paws. I am very excited to tell you guys about Base Paws, which offers an at-home cat DNA test. Base Paws was kind enough to send my wife and I a kit to test our cat Maggie's DNA. The process was fairly simple and involved three steps. First, after receiving the kit in the mail, we registered it online and created a profile for Maggie. Next, we collected a saliva sample by doing a quick cheek swab on her. Finally, we mailed the sample back to the Base Paws lab using the prepaid return shipping label included with the kit. After about a month, we got our results, which were emailed in a digital report that I am going to share with you now. This report has a lot of information, but I'm going to focus on two main parts, the breed analysis and the health markers. So this is Maggie's breed analysis page. This report shows her genetic similarities to the top 21 different breeds in Baseball's reference panel. As mentioned earlier in this video, most cats are mixed breed and selective cat breeding is a fairly new practice. That's why this report is all about genetic similarities. To determine these similarities, Baseball's looks at four fundamental cat breeds, Eastern, Western, Persian, and Exotic and they compare the cat's genetic to patterns seen in other known breeds and other breed groups. What's really cool here is that you have a slider that modifies the results according to statistical confidence. So as you can see, under confident, Maggie shares the most similarities with Western cat breeds including the Maine Coon, Siberian, and Norwegian Forest Cat. At the bottom here you can see that she's about 37% polycat. Polycat is just the term Basepaws uses for domestic shorthair, which is a cat that has mixed ancestry. 
and then as you click through the slider, you'll see other possible matches. This report also contains a brief overview of each breed with which your cat shares genetic similarities, as well as information currently known about the breed's origin, personality, genetic predisposition, and any health risks that may be associated with a particular breed type. The next section I want to show you is the most valuable part of this test, which is the health marker report. Currently, BasePaws tests for 38 feline genetic health markers that are associated with 16 genetic conditions. So this indicates if your cat is at any risk of any of these diseases. For each disease that they test, your cat will get one of four results. Clear, carrier, at risk, or at high risk. Thankfully, Maggie came back clear for everything on BasePaws list. But if she was at risk of any of these diseases, I could show this report to my veterinarian. Then we could keep a closer eye on her and look for any signs of diseases that she may be at risk for. This tool takes preventative health care for a cat to the next level. The best part is that your first report is never final. That's because this is a living document that continues to share breed and health information with greater and greater accuracy. So as more cats do this test, BasePaws is able to grow their database. As they learn more, BasePaws releases lifetime updates to a cat's original report at no additional cost. For the health section in particular, this means the additional diseases will be added in the future. If you guys are interested in this DNA test, BasePaws is offering our viewers a special discount. If you apply our exclusive promo code at checkout, you'll get $45 off your order. This offer is valid until December 31st. We'll have both the promo code and the product link in the description box below. BasePaws was also kind enough to offer you guys a chance to win a free DNA kit. To be eligible, you have to be 18 or older and a resident in the United States or Canada. All you have to do to enter is click the like button on this video, leave a comment, and fill out the giveaway form, which will also be linked in the description. The form will ask you to enter a secret code, which can be found next to the giveaway link in the description. You guys have until December 30th to enter, then on December 31st, Basepaws will randomly select and contact a winner. We'll also make a community post here on YouTube to congratulate the winner. Overall, feline genetics is a fascinating subject, so we hope you found these fun facts as interesting as we did. Good luck to those of you entering the giveaway, and thank you all for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on another cat video. As always, we'll see you next Catterday for another video.